In this video, I will talk about higher order observables that are observables that emit other observables. And especially, I'll describe the differences between switch map, merge map, concat map, and exhaust map. These operators can be really useful. For example, for nested HTTP requests, we make a call to a server via HTTP client, get the result, and pass it to another HTTP request. Or we can subscribe the value change of a reactive form and make a call to a server each time we type something. We can subscribe a subject or a store, acquire the value, and pass it to another observable. But we can use them with HTTP interceptors, router guards, and any other scenario in which we need to create sequences of observables. Before talking about the higher order observable, we create a starting example in which we use an imperative approach that we will then convert to reactive. We create a simple button to which we assign a template reference variable, and we can use the view child decorator to get a reference to this button. In vanilla JavaScript, this will be done with a simple get element by D or a query selector. We can now use the from event creation operator to convert this button into an observable and emit a value after every click. After each click, we want to make an HTTP call subscribing the Angular HTTP client service directly within the observer. However, creating nested subscription is not a good practice and make our code more confusing and difficult to read. So, we can use the map operator in the pipe method to convert each click into another observable. In this case, the observable returned by the HTTP client service get method. But in this way, our observer will receive an observable that we must subscribe again in order to receive its values. So, we haven't actually solved the problem. We can then add the merge all operator immediately after the map and the problem is fixed. This operator allows us to collect and subscribe to all observables of our sequence. In fact, the observer will now receive the response of the HTTP call and we have therefore avoided the double subscription. Since map and merge all operators are often used together, we can also use the merge map. The result will be the same. However, we have other operators such as the switch map, concat map and the exhaust map, which, as you can see, work in exactly the same way. So they do the same thing? Not really. Let's analyze the differences starting with the merge map operator. First of all, to simulate a more realistic scenario, I apply the delay operator to the get method. In this way, we simulate a network latency of about a second. We can subscribe to an observable that emits values, and this can be called outer observable, and use the merge map operator to subscribe to an inner observable, such as an HTTP call whose duration can be variable. When the outer observable emits a value, the inner observable is subscribed. The next operator in the pipe method or the observer function will then receive the value of the inner observable. If the outer observable emits other values, the inner observable will be subscribed each time and we will then receive all its emitted values. The main problem with this approach is that the order is not guaranteed. For example, if the inner observable has a variable emission time, such as the case of a call to the server, it's not said that the received values are in the same order in which they were requested. The initial example already works in this way. If I emit three values quickly in the other observable, you will see three calls to the server, and we also receive three values. In this example, the order is almost guaranteed because the delay time is identical, but if it was variable, as in a real case, it would be not safe. But we can use the concat map operator to solve the sorting problem. When the outer observable emits a new value, the inner observable is subscribed, just like the merge map. However, if the outer observable emits another value and the previous inner observable has not yet been completed, the subscription of the next inner observable is added to a queue until the previous one is completed. And in this way, we are sure that the order is maintained. If I now quickly click the button three times, you will see that we have to wait three seconds to see the result of the first subscription. The reason? The first click must wait that the previous two inner observables are completed and both require a second, since we applied this delay. 
The switch map operator works similarly, but when the outer observable emits a value, subscriptions to inner observables that have not yet been completed are cancelled. If I click three times the button, we only see the value emitted from the last subscription, while the previous two will be totally lost. Note that we'll still make three calls to the server, but the first two emitted values will be not notified because the subscriptions are cancelled before the values are emitted. So be careful, if you need to get the previous values, I suggest to use the more conservative merge map or concat map operators. Exos map operator works inversely to the switch map. In case the outer observable quickly emits values, the inner observable will be not subscribed if the previous inner observable has not completed its execution. In fact, in this case we will only see the first call to the server, and the others will not be made at all. This operator can be very useful when we want to avoid, for example, compulsive user clicks and unnecessary server calls. Imagine a button for logging in or deleting an item. In these scenarios, we want to make sure that only the first click and operation is done, and we want to avoid that the server side operations are done in case the user has clicked the button twice or more. One use case in which higher order observables are very useful is the handling of nested calls, where the second call depends on the result of the previous one. In this example, we retrieve the data of a post. We get the user ID who created the post, and we want to pass that ID to another call in order to retrieve the user's information. Since the endpoint always returns an array, we can also map it to the first index. In the next videos, we will see other real world examples in which we will use higher order observable with routers, reactive forms, and other very common scenarios.